Hey everybody, it's Margie from Bumbles and Fairy Tales, and I'm here to share with you a very late book haul. Um, I received a few books last week, and I've received more books this week, but I wanted to make a separate video for each, so here's my belated um, book haul for last week. I'm just going to try to get through um, mostly the physical books that I got. The book that I received for review comes from one of Penguin's imprints, Razor Bill, and that is Earthbound by April and Pike. I cannot wait to read this. I am dying. I want to drop everything and just read it right now, but unfortunately I can't. Um, <clears throat> this is due to be released in July of 2013. And it says, it claims to be a love triangle too. I mean, it says it right on the cover. It says, April and Pike has created a heart-stopping romance built on a love triangle like you've never seen before, filled with epic stakes and a centuries-long conspiracy. I don't know if you can see it, but right there on the cover, there's an actual triangle right there underneath the uh, title. And the cover is just amazing. And... <clears throat> Each bubble has a different guy with the same girl. So I'm wondering if like she's maybe possibly leading two separate lives. So this book is about a girl named Tavia who is the only survivor of a plane crash. And when she wakes up, she doesn't remember. And obviously there's two boys, one that's, um, that are trying to help her remember. I believe from the summary that one boy is like physically there trying to help her and then one boy comes to her at night and I don't know if that means that he only comes at night you know physically comes at night or if he's coming to her in her dreams so I can't wait for this so you guys should definitely add it to your TBR because I am loving it so far. Okay, The next two books are books that I purchased um, that I've wanted to have for a very long time. The first one is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. I've read it already. I haven't reviewed it though, but I've read it already and absolutely loved it, but I read the arc of it and I just needed to have a finished copy because first of all, the finished copy is just absolutely stunning. Let's say, here's that first page. See, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. And also, this is one of those books where it comes with its own map and when I read the advanced reader copy, this would have been so much more helpful. I mean, I was able to read it and picture it all in my head, but I actually like having everything, you know, right in front of me and um, not having to draw it up myself just so I can remember exactly how far away and where everybody was. So, um, I can't wait to reread it <clears throat> along with the map and having everything all nice and pretty and stuff and just in time for Siege and Storm. That's due to come out pretty soon. Another book that I finally purchased, and don't you all yell at me for waiting for so long to finally get this, but I finally got a copy of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have yet to read a John Green book. Please don't yell too loudly. <laughs> uh, I do own another one of his books. Um, I think it's Looking for Alaska. I haven't read it yet, but I do have it. And now I have this one, and I promised... Every single person who has yelled at me, including my sister and a couple other fellow bloggers and friends on Twitter, and I promised everybody that I would definitely add this one to my to be read pile for March. So, um, yeah, you guys are gonna probably have to give me some uh, boxes of tissues in order to get through this, but I would definitely be reading this and finally knowing what's going on and um, what everybody's been gushing about or crying about, I should say. The next two books that we got um, were middle grade books. And the first one is Club Penguin, the official guide to Club, Club Penguin. And um, I had to pick this up. Be again, we had picked up a used copy at one of the library sales, but it was so used and abused, it started falling apart. And I found it when I was cleaning my kid's room. And yes, I did the bad mommy thing, the bad book nerd thing, and I threw it away. I mean, it was just so demolished and falling apart and crumbling and disgusting. I don't know what was spilled on it or what got on it. And lo and behold, my youngest one definitely realized that it was missing and threw a fit and started crying. And how could I kill off a book? Yes, I got the whole lecture about throwing away books. So I promised him a new one and got a new one. So everything's all good and fixed now. 
The next book that we bought is Big Nate Flips Out by Lincoln Pierce. This is, I think, the fourth or the fifth book in the novel series. And it is so adorable, so cute. I mean, the illustrations are so awesome. I mean, it's the story that's going on. And I think, that, um, I think Nate is like about 12 years old now, 10. I think he's more like 12 years old. I, I think Nate is a little older than um, Diary of, the kid in Diary of Wimpy Kid. And um, my oldest is actually doing his first book report ever, and he chose to do it on this one. This just came out, I think, February 5th, or maybe the 12th. I'm not sure. I think February 12th it was released. And he read it within the next day that it was released. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how he does on his book report. And the last book that I purchased last week is an adult mass paperback. It's called Gangster Squad, and it's by Paul Lieberman. Another book that's being made into a movie. Um, this is based on true stories and true events. The Gangster Squad is a special unit that the LA Police Department put together back in like 1946, and it's basically exactly what the title is, Gangster Squad. They're out to go get the gangsters, the mafia. There's no rules, there's nothing. Just go get them. Whatever you have to do to bring them in, bring them in. Um, preferably alive. <laughs> but um, there was like a group of 10 or 12 cops. During this time, there was also a journalist, I believe, that was following this special unit and keeping track of everything that was going on and um, writing the articles, and you know, newspaper articles. He kept journals and diaries and such of all the things that happened during this period of time with the special unit. Um, Paul Lieberman, he's also a newspaper columnist. He's written other books. He um, has taken those diaries and articles and has interviewed um, some of the special unit guys that are still living and those that aren't, they've, he's interviewed their family and friends and anybody that was involved with anything and um, created this book. It's been a really, really long time since I've read anything, especially something that was based on true events. So I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's a mass paperback. I didn't feel like spending the $18 for the bigger paperback um, when the mass paperback was only $5.99. And um, there's actually like pictures of <clears throat> some of the guys that were in the special unit, some of the mafia people, some of the notes that were taking, uh, pictures of the articles that were written and stuff. So it's really interesting. You can probably go online, look up more stuff as you read along, and um, really get the whole deal of what happened back then. So I can't wait to have time to go through this and enjoy it. So those are all the books that I got last week. If you've read any or have anything to say, like I said, don't yell at me too much about the whole John Green thing. I'm sorry. But um, if you have any other suggestions or recommendations or anything else like that, please leave it in the comments. That I really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys in just a little while for, with my next haul and updates and stuff. So thanks for watching. See you later.